Hi, uh, Taurus. Welcome to Carol's Universe. Tarot readings. Tarot readings from the heart. Sorry, I shuffled your cards for your advice reading for the week. And I thought I was recording and it wasn't recording at all. So I started and this was your first advice card. I do apologize, okay? So you've got your phone. We don't know why this is there. Remember, we do the advice. The first card is the advice. The other two cards will show the reason why. So your advice card showed up as the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands really is suggestive of um, enthusiasm, freedom-seeking, uh, maverick, um, uh, freedom fighter, excitement, enthusiasm, really the advice is to go with your passions this week, because that's what the Knight of Wands speaks of, that's what he does, he goes with his passions, he's excitable, he's enthusiastic for change, this is all about that, and when we look at advice, we want to do the advice reading in the most positive way that we can, and really we're not so much, we talk about the situation in these two cards, but really the advice for whatever the situation is, if it's a difficult situation, it'll be telling you possibly just to move out of it because it's a card of change, all right? Knight of Wands represents long-distance travel and it also represents changes that you make or that are coming in for the better. Sometimes this is the card of the home move. So if you guys, the advice might be that you're changing location, that you're moving somewhere, all right? If I were to read it like that more predictively. But as an advice card, what I would say is, you know, go with your passions. Don't restrict yourself. Don't limit yourself this week. If something feels good, go with it okay which is why the knight of wands can be very positive if we look at it in that sphere it might also be that there's a fire sign around you for some reason um taurus this week but this is really the advice for you guys and how you should be dealing with situations this week let's have a look at what the reason is right so ace of pentacles could be a new job could be a fresh start it could be a, a grounded offer a real grounded offer coming to you which is what the ace of pentacles is and the devil could be a, an offer here they're two very grounded earth energies the devil we don't always need to read as being a negative because i think that um see the knight of wands can be one of those cards where you read it either as you know go with your passions go with what feels really good to you because this is really a feel good card it is representative of the zodiac sign of sagittarius and we know that they're freedom lovers they're lovers of freedom they're they're a little bit outside of the box a lot of the time sagittarius as i know them to be at times okay so this is about seeking freedom okay it could be that you're seeking freedom or the advice is to seek freedom from a situation it might be ace of pentacles ace of pentacles is a grounded situation so aces represent the concepts or they represent the starting of the situation or they represent that something is developing here when you get the ace of pentacles something really starting to develop here okay maybe there's something that's developing here or maybe there's an offer from the devil if that makes any sense to you because the ace of pentacles often represents an offer and the devil card represents well somebody who can uh it's quite an authority figure somebody who can be quite limiting uh in a, in a situation so it might be there's an offer from a capricorn for example coming in and maybe with the knight of wands it could be saying either you proceed if it makes you feel good then take it might be there's an offer that's quite tempting as well. Ace of Pentacles can show financial situations, money coming to us. So it might be a monetary situation or an offer in terms of work or something new, a new project, for example, with the Ace of Pentacles. It could be maybe with the Devil card that this is quite tempting. All right. The Knight of Wands could be, well, if it feels good to you, then go for it. However, the Knight of Wands can also be one of those cards that says proceed with caution. I know it sounds weird, but it says, you know, with the Knight of Wands, what you tend to do is you go with your passions, but have you thought about what you're doing? All right. So with the Knight of Wands, it could also be that, um, yes, go with your passions, but also make sure that you've done your homework on the situation. Because this Knight, he tends to move at a very, very fast pace. He's quite excitable. So he'll see something and he's really, really, really excited about it. But, but has he done his homework? And that's the problem with the Knight of Wands. He doesn't do a lot of homework on a situation. That's why he's a wand. Because he goes with his fire and his passions and he gets really excited. Usually about the superficial look of a situation. But he's not delved deeper. He's not really delved into the details. So also we can look at the Knight of Wands as saying, you know, look into the details a little bit more. Your advice card might be with the Knight of Wands where you want to move forward with something in a very passionate way. You're very excited about it because the offer possibly with the Devil card could be too good to be true. So really this card could also be saying, well, proceed. Not, it's not 
usually I would have expected a Knight of Pentacles to show you as the advice to proceed with caution. Because the Knight of Pentacles is a cautionary card. It talks about somebody who's moving slowly. But this is the card that says move fast. Could also be, though, if we were to look at this as saying the advice is for you. And I'm giving you many scenarios here because you'll know exactly how which one, which scenario will be uh, sit with you best, Taurus. It could also be with the Knight of Wands. Well, yeah, go for something here because it could be an offer that will give power to you. The Devil card can also represent somebody who holds power. Okay, fear can sometimes be a good thing if it drives us forward. We can see these two people here are held by a devil. They're held by their fears. But why are they held by their fears? Because they're probably promised something that's good. They can see that they will gain probably as much power as the devil will if they stick with what the devil is offering. So it could be that there's an offer coming in that leads to, well, somebody might be offering you something of power. Great temptation here to achieve something maybe with this devil energy. And it could be that it gives financial improvement. You've got a king of pentacles. And that's you, funnily enough. Taurus is usually king of pentacles. So Taurus might have financial independence. It might be that there's something about financial improvement here. So it could be an offer that's tempting that will give financial improvement. Because the king of pentacles, I think this might be something financial. We've got two pentacle cards here and we've got a devil here, which usually represents superficial situations. But also a card that represents external power and the power to really go for a situation that you feel that you're going to if you like, empower yourself over with this devil energy. So I feel in the one instance when we look at the Knight of Wands, it could be saying, well, go with your passions. Go with what feels good for you. Release yourself from any type of change that you've had and just go with what makes sense to you at this particular time. It could be because there's an offer coming in, Ace of Pentacles. could be that it's very tempting with the devil card in terms of maybe financial improvement. But it could also at the same time be saying, you know, just make sure that you take care of the details as well. Go, you can go for something here by all means with that Knight of Wands. But make sure with the Knight of Wands energy that you take care of the details. Because there could be an offer coming into you. The Devil card for me, it could be an offer that's very tempting maybe. Maybe this offer promises great things with the Devil card. It could be that it promises, you know, great financial improvement. You are the King of Pentacles after all. Um, Taurus. Taurus is a King of Pentacles card. I want to see why, though, um, it's telling me, why are you saying the advice is the Knight of Wands for Taurus uh, in the next seven days? Why have you given the Knight of Wands as the advice for Taurus? Show me. Because of the Five of Swords. Okay. So I think that there is a... Just to give deeper information on why your advice is the Knight of Wands, I think that there is possibly... Um, a conflictive situation here. And I would read this as a conflict. It's, it's, see, the problem is with the Five of Swords, it can either be that you've got doubt or you're facing some form of uh, competitiveness, competition, or people that are trying to hold you back. Okay. Um, this can also be somebody who's trying to take advantage. So it could be, if I were to delve deeper for some of you guys, with the Knight of Wands, it might be to leave. Knight of Wands also means to leave. So it might be to leave a situation here. It might be the Five of Swords. Somebody could be trying to take advantage for some of you guys. And that could be because an offer from the devil of financial improvement. And if it's an offer maybe from the devil... Also, I'm just looking at the direction of the cards, and I can see the pentacle, which can easily be you as well, because your Taurus being offered to a devil. Okay, so, you know, are you selling your soul for something here in the hopes of gaining this? Are you selling out to gain something here? And is somebody trying to take advantage of the situation here? I think this week, really what it's saying for some of you guys, if something looks too good to be true, you need to make sure that you get the finer details on that. Yeah, and you've got five of swords and five of cups, and I don't like those energies together. You know, it could be that you need to leave a situation because somebody who takes advantage, it could result in some form of a loss because you've got the Five of Cups. I think actually looking at this reading, the advice more than anything is saying, uh, you know, use your wits, keep your wits about you with this Knight of Wands. Delve, look into a situation. I think it's saying maybe leave, for some of you guys, if you know about this, maybe leave a situation. Because this is not just the card about passion and enthusiasm. It's also the card that says you need to make a quick exit. So it could be that the uh, advice is to make a quick exit out of a situation. It could be because somebody taking advantage. This could result in loss. And why is that? Because you'll be selling your soul. 
Eyes of Pentacles. I'm just looking at the, how the Eyes of Pentacles offers its money to a devil. Okay, if you offer money to the devil, then possibly you're offering something that you're going to be tied into for financial gain. The King of Pentacles, or for some form of improvement. To me, when we offer things to the devil, it's like selling your soul, something that you can't break away from. So it kind of uh, hinders you a little bit more. There's more, much more of a, um, there's much more of a break. Uh, not break, but there's much more of a, a limiting thing going on here. It's almost like you're offering money to this devil. You're paying the devil. And you can definitely, when you see the Ace of Pentacles holding its pentacle towards someone or something on a card, it shows that you're paying money out. So it might be that you're giving your money to somebody that doesn't have your best interest. Devil can also be black magician, you see. That's why it's got all the black around it. So it can be somebody who, for example, has um, a bad intention for what you're giving to them. All right. So it might be that you're giving money to a devil in the hope of some form of financial or some form of improvement in your life. But it might be that whatever it is that you're paying out or giving out, you're not going to get that much off, if that makes any sense to you, Capri um, Taurus. So I feel that in the main, if I really look at this spread for myself and how I would probably look at this is, I think that some of you guys this week look into a situation... Uh, evaluate it properly, look into the details, don't just go rushing off maybe with this Knight of Wands if we were to read it the other way. It could be that you need to make a quick exit maybe, change direction. And why are you changing direction? Because it might be, and when you get the Five of Swords, this is somebody who's taking the piss sometimes, somebody, an advantage taker, okay? Uh, somebody who takes advantage, it could lead to loss, some form of a loss here with the Five of Cups. And that's because maybe you guys are going to be paying out money to a devil. So you'll be paying into something that you're going to find hard to let go of. So whether that be, for example, something that you see on the internet that promises, uh, you know, uh, really good returns. And then you find, okay, I've signed this contract and now I can't get out of the contract. Okay, they tell me that I've signed it. I did, I was signed up for something. I didn't really look into what I was signing up for. And now I'm locked into a contract for 12 months and it's not really going to benefit me. And that was all because I thought I'd have some form of improvement here with the King of Pentacles. This often represents an improvement in earthly matters or financial matters. Okay, and I think that just flipping over here, I just wanted to pick another card. It's the Four of Cups and this tells you to be very selective in what's offered. So I think that this is telling you to be very, very selective this week, Taurus. Okay, you see an offer online, if somebody's offering you something, if somebody's calling you from a credit card company, if, you know, anything like that, look into the situation for yourselves properly, all right, this week, because it could be something you don't need, and it might be something that you get yourself locked into that you can't get out of, okay, so be very, very selective this week in terms of things that may be offered to you that have no benefit in the long run. That is your advice for the week, Taurus. Sorry that I, you know, changed my mindset, but that's how I work as a tarot reader. When I draw more cards, things the, the cards will colour other cards and things take on a different meaning. And it takes me a while to come to that final conclusion. All right. Thank you for your time, my darlings. Have a great time. And, uh, well, great day, as it were. And, yeah, I'll see you on your triple cross readings. Take care. Bye-bye.